Hi, I'm Kimberly Trion, and I'm going to demonstrate NG tube insertion. Uh, we're going to start by verifying our physician's orders and the indication. We're going to gather our supplies. I have my gloves, uh, 15 French NG tube, our 60 ml syringe, our pen light. We have an emesis basin with our tape, our lubricating jelly, tissue, um, a specimen cup, a pH test strip, a safety pin, and then we also have our towel, our basin of warm water, a cup of water with um, a straw. We have our stethoscope and we've verified that our suction is working and in order. We're gonna enter our patient's room, close the door or curtain for privacy, perform hand hygiene, Hi, sir, I'm Kim. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can you verify your full name and date of birth? Verify two patient identifiers. Okay, Mr. Smith, today your doctor has ordered the placement of an NG tube, which is a tube that goes from your nose um, into your stomach. Uh, this tube is going to be hooked up to continuous to low continuous suction, and it's just going to clear out your stomach and then make sure that there's no um, stomach contents to give your bowels some time to heal, okay? We are going to set up. We're gonna raise him to a good, uh, raise the bed to a good working height. We are going to place him in high fowlers and place our gloves. All right, we're gonna start by placing our NG tube in our basin of warm water. And that just lets it, uh, warms it up a little bit and makes it a little more pliable. We're going to set up our towel. All right, Mr. Smith, will you look up? We're going to inspect the nares. We're looking for any obstructions, deformities, uh, looking at the membranes for any redness, swelling, uh, abrasions. All right, Mr. Smith, will you cover one nostril and take a deep breath in and out? Cover the other nostril, take a deep breath in and out. Okay, it sounds like that left nostril is has better airflow, so we're going to use that side today. We are going to get our tube, a measure, measuring from the tip of the nose to the tip of the ear and down to the xiphoid process. For you, it's going to be 50 centimeters. So we will use our tape to mark that. All right, Mr. Smith. So I'm gonna have you start by looking up. We're gonna insert the tube into your nose. When it reaches the back of your throat, I want you to lower your chin to your chest and take some sips of water. Each time you swallow, I'm gonna advance the tube a little bit farther, okay? If for whatever reason you start to gag or you are having um, difficulty breathing, just raise your hand and we'll stop and give you a minute, okay? All right, so we're gonna lubricate our tubing. We're going to have him look up. We're gonna insert. Um, if we encounter any resistance on the initial insertion, we're gonna withdraw it, re-lubricate it, and try the other nair. So we're going to follow the um, nasal passage back when it reaches the oropharynx. We're gonna instruct him to bring his chin to his chest and take some sips of water. Each time he takes a sip of water, we're gonna advance it two to four inches. Um, if he has any gagging, we can stop, let him take a couple sips until the gagging um, has subsided and then we will continue. So two to four inches with each swallow. So we reach that 50, uh, 50 C, uh, centimeter mark. Okay, once we get there, we're gonna verify um, our location. We're gonna withdraw five to 10 mLs of gastric content, uh, place it in our specimen cup, take our pH test strip, uh, we want to see it between a pH of 1 to 5, and that's a good indicator it's in his stomach. So once we get confirmation there, we will secure it. Um, if we do not, if uh, the signs point to it might not be in the stomach, we're going to remove it and try again. So we're going to place the tape on the bridge of the nose. We're going to wrap it 
and secure. We'll lower the bed, we'll get um, an x-ray to verify confirmation that it is in fact in the stomach. Uh, once we get that confirmation, we will hook it up to, um, well, we would secure it to his gown with the safety pin and we would hook it up to our continuous suction. Um, we're gonna verify that the tube, the NG tube and the suction tube stay unclamped and patent. Um, we'll continue to assess and document the contents of the suction canister, including uh, the amount and the characteristics of that. Um, once we're done with this, we will discard our supplies, put him in a low and locked position in a position of comfort. We're gonna discard our gloves, perform our hand hygiene and document our procedure including uh, the care we provided, the assessment findings, and the patient's response.